Shalom, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, Double Lamb, the Sea, the Apostles, the Bishops, and Brothers, and the Great Millstone. Salutations to the Holy Leg. This is your brother Rabbi Yamian. Get to share that lesson. This one is um, a continuation uh, from the previous lesson that um, I didn't get to uh, uh, complete. Um, it was the title was uh, "Be Not Moved by the Wicked." Um, so since this is part two, I'm gonna call it, you know, that whatever or don't care spirit will be trampled down. You know, and um, you know people have been uh, very careless in their behavior, man, and um, you know, and as a lot of us witness, you know, what I'm saying they don't have any sympathy or um, empathy you know towards um towards people and the scriptures um said that these things was going to happen and stuff in the last days you know as it says in um james chapter you know 1 and 20 to speak about you know carnality not bringing forth you know righteous fruit let me get that real quick so i don't butcher it um It says, for the wrath of man will get not the righteousness of the Most High. Yeah, so, you know, that carnal and wicked behavior is not of the Most High. You know what I mean? It doesn't edify anybody. And all it does is um, bring about, you know, food and strife. You know what I'm saying? It's not, uh, carnality is not of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know what I'm saying? In the book of Proverbs, it also talk about, you know, a, a angry man stirred. Uh, still at their stripe and a lot of people you know in the world are angry because you know the food prices are up uh rent is up mortgage and stuff is up all right but the wages and stuff is um stagnant man you know what i'm saying and because of the sin that's going on and because of the iniquity the love of many has watched cool you know and grab that uh in Proverbs 29 and um, 22 it says an angry man stood up strife and a furious man abounded in transgressions you know what I mean and this is why you know we need to avoid people like this you know especially people with that you know don't care whatever spirit you know what I'm saying is gonna cause uh, more sin See, I think it's somewhere in the scripture says about you know, you know not meddling with an angry man or something like something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? So people that try to provoke us, you know what I'm saying, to extract a uh, a kind of response out of us. We shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't be moved. You know what I'm saying? Because we know better. We know that the devil come, but to steal, kill, and to destroy, right? So we are to follow our um, Lord. Uh, I remember quoting that scripture uh, when Yahweh Shai was um, questioned by a pilot in um, Matthew 27, 11 uh, to 14. You know what I'm saying? And how he composed himself when, you know, he was, um, you know, accused. You know what I'm saying? And this goes for us also. When we are accused, things are said about us, things are done um, to us to get out the cup to come out of the spirit and to become carnal you know we have to be still you know what i'm saying in the um uh, in the holy spirit man you know what i'm saying but uh the people is behaving um like this as per you know my observation and many brothers have um spoken on this you know throughout the week and stuff because of um the ruler the scriptures here you know as the ruler is so is the people um that being uh so back i believe chapter 10. let me try verse one it says a wise judge a wise judge will instruct his people at the government of a prudent man is where oh no it's not it uh verse two it says as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man 
the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein you know what i'm saying so these people that is um you know behaving that they're behaving they don't see any um you know structure in places because of the the rulership you know they don't see you know the fruits of obeying the law the law that they themselves you know um mandate other people to follow you know what i'm saying uh you look at the current administration there are a lot of moles in there you know what i'm saying there's no you know responsibility you know this whole thing is a joke you know what i'm saying uh with the carelessness and so the people you know i mean is operating uh carnally and carelessly with no direction like a chicken with his head cut off you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna close it off on this um since this was a uh a continuation of the last lesson that I did, but the most high is bringing all this shit, you know what I'm saying, to an end, man. All this bullshit that we endure on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the most high is coming to destroy, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna read um, in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 28, and it says, For the most high, is all by Hashem Yahushai, love of judgment. And forsake it not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So the most high, even though he sees that, you know, we're going through, you know, these different strifes and these different provocations with the people, you know, in the public, you know, these um people on the job and stuff like that, you know, they're giving us a hard way to go. You know, everywhere we turn it's like it's like a strife and it's like a test. You know, it's like a tribulation, man. You know what I'm saying? But the most high is going to keep us low, will and be be numbered amongst the elect. But those that seek to provoke, you know, a kind of response out of us, you know what I mean? And then, you know, laugh at us, you know what I'm saying? And also they that say, you know, that we don't have a, um, a defense, you know what I'm saying? We are open, we are as like sheep without a shepherd. They are going to be destroyed. Scripture says that they're gonna, the, the seed of the wicked is going to be cut off, man, you know what I'm saying? So we have to remember these things. Um, the first lesson that I did, be not moved by the wicked and this one, um, that whatever or doing care spirit will be trampled down. The most high is coming, you know, to trample down that careless spirit. And I'm going to read it again. This is Psalms uh, 37 and 28. It says, For the most high love and judgment, and forsake it not his saints, they that preserve, they are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. You know what I'm saying? And that's written, man. You know what I'm saying? So we need to believe these things. I know it may look, you know, right now that, you know what I'm saying, it's getting worse and worse. And we have no hope, you know what I'm saying? But we have to trust in the word of the Most High, no matter what, and endure. And we, he will have his back, man. You know what I mean? So this was just a continuation of the first part. Um that I did, you know, gird up, you know, and do until the end, man. Lord willing, uh, we be numbered amongst the elect. So hopefully these um last two short videos I did is edifying until the elect. This is your brother Rai Banyamian. Until the next time I say shalom.